Hi, I'm going to show you how to play Brendan Number no. 1 by Fugazi on guitar. It's fairly simple. There's just a few parts, and you just got to know when to play these parts because it all it matches up with the drums, kind of. And then the bass is just chugging along and doing the same gosh darn riff the whole song. But, anyways, let's do this. So, see how it starts. So, it starts off without any guitar. Let's listen. So, basically, it does that riff. It does that riff 16 times, is what you could say. For the beginning, before the guitar comes in, which is... Let's see what it is. Sorry. <laughs> so, it's more of the octave chords. So, but it's starting at 7, then going up to the 9, then going up to the 12, and then you go back down. But the rhythm of it is a little tricky. Can be a little tricky. Oh my god. And then you can tell, like, when the guitar is about to come in with the toms or the drums, because they get a little more, like, intense right before the guitar comes in. And then it does this thing after you do. How many times? Is it? I think it's eight times. It's eight times that it does that riff. And then it does this thing where it's just like it does the seven octave chord, but it slides down just real quick to the five. So yeah, let's see what it does. It does that for a certain amount of time. And then when you know, you know this part, this part is done when the, the drums do a chugga 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 chugga. Like right when he does that, it's about to switch to the slidey part, which is, let's see. And then there's more. Just do when do do a bunch of just do a bunch of these little chicka chickas whenever you want, and also these whenever you want. And <laughs> he got it. But um. But yeah. The second part it does do kind of like some sort of A thing. I don't know if that's the second guitar, but it just. Just get to an A somehow, and then do it again. Then it does a little, a more clean guitar part. So if you have a distortion pedal, you could probably turn it off at this point when you play this little riff. But it's. And you'd play that. 
that for a certain amount of times, and what is it? So yeah, you play that certain amount of time. The rhythm is really, it's kind of strange. So, I gotta just play it slow. I don't know. So, it doesn't start on the one. So, it starts on, so it starts on the upbeat, basically. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. So eight times of that part. And then it gets back to the seven, nine, twelve octave chords. just with an A, or uh, not an A, but the B string. <laughs> then he gets to that part, so let's try that again. Three. Four. Five. So, after... I guess after four times of just no guitar then it does I think four of the B string so let's try that thing other to remember about the end is it does the all the other times it did it whatever eight times or so but at the end this part is basically doubled so you just kind of extend the amount of times you do it by two so. So let's do the whole thing over again. This is Brenda number one by Fugazi on guitar. All the way through.
kind of messed up on the... So you do four of just empty, no guitar, and then, then you do... But that was basically it. That was Brandon number one by Fugazi on guitar. Um, fairly simple. You just got to get used to how often they do certain parts after a bunch of listens and playing along with it, and you'll get it. You'll get it. Repetition. Um, but yeah. Cool. Alright, now we're going to learn a song by Fugazi called Greed, which is probably my favorite Fugazi song. Just in terms of they cram so much amazing parts into like an, um, a song that's only a minute or so long. And yeah, let's do the guitar. So, here's how to play it on guitar. I kind of don't remember, but we can figure it out as we go. So, let's start from the beginning. So, it has a very strange rhythm kind of thing going on because of the drums and everything. So, basically, this first part, which is like, it plays it this part a lot for all these weird drum parts. Like at the beginning and kind of in the middle. But here we go. So, it's basically an octave chord. Um, but starting on the A, so it's 7 on the A string is the first note, and then 2 on the A string is the second note. So basically, the rhythm is kind of strange, you gotta get used to it, but, um, so it's... So, 
I like to think of it as just two kind of strums, or just two strums for the seven. One, two, three, four, and then four strums for the two. And then they do kind of like these little Just one sneeze. Did you bless me? I hope you blessed me. Does anyone bless YouTube videos when someone sneezes? <laughs> Someone's just like watching, like, uh, and they sneeze. Oh, bless you. <laughs> Some really polite dude is just like, oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> Anyways, thanks for blessing me if you did. I mean, whatever. All right. <laughs> So let's let's play along with this whole section. Let's go. Okay. Hold on, I was not ready. But basically the guitar starts. So, this is already getting complicated, more complicated than I thought, but there's also a second guitar, and I think they do more of the focus on the other, like, weird stuff, but, um, there's a lot of weird noise stuff that they, like, that they either play the weird stuff, like, in the pauses, or they don't, and it's just all about remembering, um where those parts are that do the, do the weird strangeness of just like so at one point it was just like in the pause and at one point it was just like a, so basically like a just, just let the just let the notes kind of ring all open the strings or whatever and then the other part was just like so basically you hold this, um, the four at the top of the octave at the two, so. But then you obviously go back. And then also, there's some parts where it doesn't do the, obviously in like one of the first pauses. So let's see, let's just play the whole thing through. Does there that part's weird but let's let's say that part is where we do something a little I don't know I'm just like I think it's just like holding just the power cord a little bit longer you Maybe it's just like an open, like, I think it's just open G and maybe B. So let's see if that's right. Yeah, he just, and then he, I don't know, you do something, do something kind of weird to make it kind of have a vibrato effect. Yeah, just so just another open thing, but only the G string. So let's let's go back. Let's go back. Let's start from the.
That one's a weird noise. <laughs> so I don't know. Just do that. Just kind of you just like. So I think what I'm doing is just like you start. Like you just play these. You just hold down like, like these two. These two freaking strip. So then I just play. And then I, I go up and then I come back down. I guess I don't know. So, and then I. But then I hit the, the A string. These two notes. Because it, it does like this up down kind of effect. Let's see. Let's let's take a listen. What you what you want? No, where am I? You want you want you want. I don't know if that's what they're doing. This part is really hard, but... They probably can't even do this same effect live, dude. I don't know what they did in the studio, but... <laughs> Alright. Just do any weird noise that kind of sounds similar, I guess. I don't know. But that's where you do the... The four is kind of right at that spot. Which is right before it gets the next part. All right, let's do that part one more time. Let's see if I could even do it. just focus on this next part which is pretty simple it's just uh, a handful of power chords so it's basically is four on the A string and then three on the E string and then open E on the E string and then it goes I think the five on the A string Oh, no, 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 all right. So, here's the whole progression. But it's all those notes in, this, in a certain order, so. So, so on the like last half of it, when I get to this E, to when I get to this G, so it's like that whole thing. So I don't, I feel like I don't have to get to this E power chord. I can just like play an open E and then to the five on the A string. So basically. And also, like, 
I'm naturally kind of just strumming up and down with these power chords because to me, like, obviously it sounds cool to just always pick down, but um, for, like, ease of ease of playing, like, I think I'm just going up and down, like, wherever I feel fit. Like, there's some fast, like, transitions for these certain chords, and I just tend to go up and down. So... Like that part, I think. Like my hand is going... And then it gets back to that part. So that's that part. Let's play that through, I guess. Let's see. So that, anyways, that was that part. You should get it. Just keep repeating that. But here's, but so right at the get go, for this next part where it gets back to the that whole thing and all the weird drum pauses, like there's no pause at the first one. It's more of just that that open G and A thing. So I'll keep that in mind. Ah. Here's the pause. <laughs> so there's a pause for the second one, and then it does something. Weird. Let's let's listen again. <laughs> It has some weird, kind of very subtle, strange whatevers. Well, basically, just do whatever you want. You don't have to try and figure out the exact freaking weird things that they're doing, but they're doing some weird stuff, and you just gotta kind of do whatever you feel. It sounds cool. Um, but as long as you do it at the right times. So let's... I'm gonna give it a shot. It's kind of hard. I don't know the sequence yet. So, and then it just does that whole power chord thing again. There's no difference. It's the same thing as the first part. And But at the end of this, it's different because it just ends on an A. Basically, you're just playing an A on the E string. Like, you can kind of palm mute it. Like, I think, like, palm mute it because it, it just slowly kind of gradually gets louder. So, I would start, like... It would just be that court kind of thing. And you control the loudness by, you know, how hard you're playing, but also where your palm is on the string. So right now it's on, on it a lot. And then once I release or, like, move more my hand, like, to off of the string, it gets louder, obviously. So, um, yeah, so let's see how that goes. <laughs>
So, basically, there's no weird pause things. It's just for for the for that um, seven and two thing octave chord thing. There's no pauses. It's more a lot of the. But yeah, let's go back. But basically, it's like I don't know how many times is that. It's a very even number, like eight or so, of that. That A note. Then he gets back to the A after doing that for that many times. Gets back to the A. And then he does the seven and the two thing, but only once. And that's the song. So. Let's try and get all the pauses right, but. Honestly, do it whenever, I guess. Because no one is going to really care if you're ever playing this live. No one's going to care that um, you didn't do a, you didn't hold out a G string at a pause at the right time. Just do whatever feels right. All right, let's play the whole thing. This is Greed by Fugazi. Guitar. Let's do this. Let's try and do this at least. All right. And that's it, I kind of missed one of the little weird noise parts, but with enough practice, you can get it right. But yeah, I would suggest just kind of going through all the song on guitar, <laughs> like just many times. Eventually you'll get the whole progression of everything. But those are the parts. And, um, yeah, it's just, it's just going to take a lot of listens to kind of figure out how long things are and which sections are which to play. And I believe in you. I believe in you. You got this. I don't know who you are, but you got this. And that's Greed by Fugazi on guitar. <laughs> 